Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf here in the Tour Van, joined by Kevin Kraft today uh, for a very fun kind of series once again for 2024, the best of 2024. And today we're sort of doing it in two parts this year because we're going to account for more drivers to be released probably yeah. at some point this year. So first part is going to be the new ones early in 2024. And Kevin, we've got four of our favorites so far. So these are the sort of standard slash high MOI category. Um, I'll just go down the line here, what we've got. So um, right now, the one built already for you, Callaway Paradigm AI Smoke Max. Mm -hmm. We've got TaylorMade QI10. We've got the Ping G430 Max 10K and Cobra Dark Speed X. So initially here, Kevin, you've been fitting out with these probably for what, a few weeks? Yeah. Um, first impressions on these four drivers. All very good. Yeah. Yeah, they're all very good. Uh, there's a lot of similarities, mm -hmm. uh, some subtle differences, things like a matte finish on the, yep. the Cobra versus the glossy finish and lots of fingerprints fingerprints <laughs> on the uh, QI-10. Yeah. Um, they're all good. Yeah. They're all good. They're all very friendly. They're all very forgiving. They all feel good. Uh, sound can be a little bit different, right? Yeah. That's that's one thing that we'll see with with customers. You know, they'll like a particular sound, and sound translates into feel. So, right. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. So, um, and we're also at the end of the testing, we're going to come back and get your top pick in performance, in innovation, and in sort of look slash sound slash feel into one category there. So three categories at the end for you to pick a winner on. So. Um, but also, we should we should discuss the shaft that you're going to be you're going to be hitting with these. This is a we haven't done a ton of testing with this on our channel before. So talk to me about this shaft and if it may or may not be in the bag for you this year. Okay, so this is the Autoflex SF five hundred five XX. Now it's a lot of letters and numbers yeah, that you just yes. said. Yeah. So when somebody sees XX, they think okay, double double X, right? Yeah. If you look at the way this shaft moves. Doesn't really, this does yeah. not really look as if it's going to be a double X flex shaft. Yeah. However, the auto flex is essentially designed to be stiffer the faster you swing it. So this particular shaft is rated for up to 120 miles an hour of club head speed. I do not have 120 miles an hour of club head speed. Well, not yet. <laughs> it ain't, ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen. Uh, do I have a, I've hit one, yeah, one I've hit 116, 114, 115, two. okay. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's sort of in there. You put your mind to it. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> uh, you know, my normal playing speed is going to be somewhere in that 106, 109 range, just depending on, you know, the day yep. probably. I've had some slow days, I've had some fast days, but, um, you know, it kind of looks like a, if you took a, the whole wrapper off of a roll of lifesavers. Yeah, it does. Is what this one looks like. They have a few iterations. They've got a, a black with yellow. They got a black with pink. And they've got an all black with just different color on the Autoflex uh, sure. name. But um, I kind of like this one. Yeah. It, it fits my personality. It does. It definitely right? does. I was little, going to suggest weird. that. Yeah. So uh, it is It is pretty good. So well, we're going we're gonna to work with this one today, see how it goes. I have not tested anything i have not tested any of these heads with this shaft yet okay so okay, this is so going to be uh, uh, informational for you as well yeah, yeah the only one that i have hit with this shaft in it so far is what i'm actually gaming this year which is the, the dark speed ls which we'll do in a some sure uh, okay uh, review so yeah um, all right so should be got, interesting yeah it should, should be, be it should be we've got nine degrees nine degree heads for each of them mm -hmm. um we're going to start with the paradigm because you've got it built already yeah um are you ready to swing Ready as I'm gonna be. Let's do it. Okay. Okay. All right. Starting with Paradigm AI Smoke Max. Yes. Um, it, it, it did really well in our string report video. Yeah. Um, in the initial review of it, so yep. I expect pretty good things here with this this test. I expect good things out of all of these. Yeah. Honestly, that's true. They're they're all really good drivers. So. Uh, yeah. Just really interested to see how this is all gonna work because with the Auto Flex, interestingly enough. They're supposed to be in a particular uh, swing weight range, yeah. and also uh, a particular length range, and really you go to about as low a loft as you can as you can get. Right. Uh, it does tend to launch fairly high. Yeah. So, um, okay. So we don't have we don't have those numbers going on with any of these. So yeah. What we get is what we get. You know. We uh you registered a swing by the way oh, just wow. now with your little uh. 
That's gonna that's gonna hurt my yardages. Not a great start for Paradigm AI. Twenty one mile an hour clubhead speed. That's uh, <laughs> that's definitely gonna hurt a little bit. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. I'm interested to see what happens here yeah. with that shaft and these these driver heads. Yeah, me too. So. Me too. Solid speed to start. Yeah, 1076, not bad. That started a little further right than I was expecting. The face uh, registered a little bit open. Oh, yes, it did indeed. Okay. All right. Came back, though. Yeah. Drew back in. Yeah. I should probably get the other fairway up, too. Oh, yeah. Well, that's a little quicker turny than I want to see. That's there is a really good ball. I think we had a little bit of gear effect on that previous so? one. Yeah, I think that was a little oh, toey. The previous one? Looking at what the, the path yeah, was, here. the path was only like 2.8. So I wouldn't expect to see that much turn on a 2.8, so it had to be gear effect. Oh, oh, that's okay. Oh, yep. There it is. Yep. <laughs> there it, is. Yeah. it is out there on the toe, gear effect. Every now and then I know things. I think so. <laughs> There's some more speed. Yeah. Getting close to 160 on the ball speed. There we go. That was also a little toey. Should be all right, though. Yep. Wow, that did work, yeah. Yep. Yeah, not your most efficient strike, but. Yeah, no, 143 is not exactly a great smash factor, but. Okay, so Cut. I already have a comment. Okay. <laughs> that I need to make, and I'm gonna show it by removing this last swing that was uh, this last one that you sort of not your best strike. Okay. Look at all these uh, strikes and look at the spin consistency. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty good. One of the things I've liked about this. Yeah. It's been even though it feels wiggly. Yeah. Right. The way it performs, the way it feels in transition, all that stuff is great, and it's been a very low spin. I want that low spin. Mm -hmm. Definitely want that low spin. Yeah, so so our rule, we, we, what we wanted to do is do the best four out of six swings here. Sure. Um, I, don't, I mean, we kind of, I took this one out because of the one four three smash. Is there yeah. another one here that, I mean, you got really these four here that are. I mean, I guess the 1066, the one that was a little slower. That's right here in the middle. Yeah. But if we do that, we got. These four here is their map, and numbers-wise, <laughs> that spin gets even more crazy consistent. <laughs> so basically, if we look at every shot here, yeah. just a little over 2,000, just over 2,000, 19, 1907, just over 2,000. That was your, uh, you know, off the toe yeah. strike, yeah. and then just over 2,000. So really consistent spin mm -hmm. with the, um, let's see, Paradigm AI Smoke Max. And then also, you know, their, their whole thing this year, of course, is their new AI smart face and, and retaining the distance on maybe slight miss hits. And it's pretty smart. You're, it's pretty, it's pretty it's smart. Pretty smart. It's pretty smart. Your distance was over 290 with every single tee shot um, in total. And carry was 260 or more every time, rounding up this. A little second. low, trajectory-wise. So, I actually, okay. I mean, I have this cranked down. So okay. I would actually like to see more like 110. Oh, so sure. in some of the work I've done with with my head and this shaft, eight degrees has been really good, and I've been able to get 105, 110. Um, but mm -hmm. so I think that I think our our carry numbers down a little bit from from what I really want to see. But okay. I'm okay with I'm okay with 296. Yeah. I'll live with that. Yeah, no I mean, problem. and here's your you had that one that that's, we kind of was out on the toe, yeah, so that's kind of that's, bringing it, but you're in the right spot for the most part with maybe the exception of one. That's pretty much my fingerprint right there. Yeah. <laughs> that's where I like to live. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, so, and then yeah. also, I mean, again, we're going to bring up the Spurgeon. I mean, this, again, we narrowed the fairway for you just to show, you know, it's yeah. not the, this, the TPI fairway is relatively uh, realistic compared to what you see on a golf course, and yeah. you really only had this one that would miss the fairway, so. Yeah, that's okay. I mean, we, we've seen it in video. If you, you put me up against it, I'm going to miss a fairway now and then. Yeah. Like our... I can, our, hit, I can our, hit one in a row. Our so. Adam Long challenge? Yeah. <laughs> um, if, you're, if you missed uh, it, Kevin tried to recreate 69 fairways in a row, which was the PGA Tour record set earlier this uh, spring, and and Kevin hit one in a row and missed it fairway next time. So. <laughs> um, okay. So there's our numbers with the AI Smoke Max. Good. 
So let's go to TaylorMade next. Okay. TaylorMade QI10. QI10, how much different does that look compared to the AI Smoke Max? Visually, it looks a lot different. Yeah. Fingerprints are still an issue. <laughs> this is oh. the only thing, the only thing I don't like about this driver yeah. is the fact that I'm going to spend a lot of time because I am crazy uh, <laughs> looking down and going, oh man, there's a fingerprint, right? Yeah. So, yeah. And I'm going to obsess over it. I'm going to just be like, you know, I can't. So I, if there's well, a broken piece of a leaf and I, I see it, I'm just going to be like, I just I can't deal. So you're always so. you're gonna be in favor of a matte crown no matter what. I really am. Yeah, yeah. Like a couple years ago, it was all matte. It was fantastic. Yeah, it was great. Right, it was awesome. No fingerprints. That was the uh, yeah, 2022. The Rogue ST Max was was matte. Yeah. Stealth was matte. Yep. Ping's always been. Yep. Cobra, Cobra was. Yeah, Cobra, Cobra was. was yeah. I think. All right. Two years ago. Yeah. So the yeah the the Rad Speed was. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, last year's last year's wasn't, but last year's was a little harder to see the. Uh, it's harder to see the fingerprint. Yeah. The color scheme. Yeah, true. So, yeah. But anyway, you give me a you give me a nice glossy black. I'm gonna see every single. Yeah. Thing. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right. So I like uh, this. This it looks good, and I think it looks really pretty cool with the shaft in it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Is that oh, low? I blocked one. Is that low on the face? Maybe too. Uh, Just looking at the spin. Might have been, a, I suppose that could have been a little low heel. No. Oh, that's a pretty normal spot. Okay. No, yeah. I didn't know. I was just wondering. Just left face open. It was about the same spot, I think. Yeah. And it came back. Interesting, getting a little more spin here. Yeah, this is, it's not a little, it's a lot. Okay, so there's a lot more spin here. <laughs> well, or through two swings here. Yeah. That one just looked and sounded like you hit it harder, and you did. A little, little bit lower spin. Well, that one ain't going right. No, it's not. Wow. Okay. That felt like the best of the group. Yeah, that did look like the best. Yep. Wow. There's a good one to okay. end on. There we go. Okay. Again, kind of low. Man, I might need to. I might need to loft up. Okay, that's a six. Okay, so let's go back here. Let's see which ones are we gonna remove here. Probably maybe this one. Yep. That one's gone. This Thank one you. here. I suppose. Sure. Or this one. Yeah, I mean, let's, 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 we got one left, one left, we got one right, one right. Let's, yeah, let's get rid of, let's get rid of that guy. Okay. And we'll see, it'll be, it should be a pretty fair, yeah, pretty fair comparison there. Okay. So. <laughs> I mean, if you look at it that way, it's like, I'm going to miss one just a little bit to the left. It's actually, uh, this is actually one crazy. One a little bit to the right, and I'm going to hit a couple of the fair Look at that. We got yeah. one over here left that's yeah. hanging out. Yeah. We've got these two, <laughs> it's like they all, they all have their own match. So I'm going to be said about consistency, folks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, all right, so numbers here. Um, interesting that the spin was much higher on the QI10. That's yeah. I'm looking back at spin again. I looked at spin with Wait, AI smoke and it's then not bad spin. It's not bad. No, it's not, not bad. bad spin. Not bad. But I just there's so much more spin. I mean, you, it, yeah. came, it came down a little bit with these last two. Yeah. Um, but I just I wonder if we can almost I don't want to say jump to the conclusion already, but is QI10 just the more more spinning, higher spinning driver. Certainly seems to be. Yeah, yeah. That's my that's my initial takeaway. But I know you were mentioning carry distance. Yeah. Um, it jumped up a little bit at the end here with a couple <laughs> of those. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now, <laughs> granted, we had this one that you kind of hit a little lower. Let's say we, you know, go like this, switch it. Things go a little bit more. You okay. know. Okay. Okay. Change a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. So, there's um. Yeah, there's there's some differences there. What, what did you think out of hitting those two, uh, hitting this one after hitting the AI Smoke Max? Um, honestly, I, I think I f like the responsiveness off the face a little better off the Callaway. Okay. Um, yeah. You know, again, I'm, I'm this is all new. Like I've I've hit all these things, but I've not done it with with, with this, this combo. Shaft. Um, I felt like I just knew 
where it was coming off and, and everything. On the little, Callaway? A yeah. Bit better on it the does. Callaway. And you also were just, you were swinging it seemingly more consistent too with yeah. the Paradigm. I and strangely just, enough, I went up in loft with this one compared to the to the Callaway and I actually hit it lower. Yeah, because you did move this, you moved the Callaway down a little bit. Callaway was down to 8.25, or sorry, uh, yeah, 8.25. And you, you kept that one standard? And this standard? one right at 9, yeah. Interesting. So. Yeah, and so that could be related maybe a little bit to the spin. I still think the spin is how much higher than it should be, though. No, I mean, look, 23, 23, 83 is a good spin number. No, it's, it's it, not, it is. I'm, I guess I'm saying I the, like, the difference. I, I like lower spin yeah. because I feel like I'm capable of squaring it up most of the time, right? And I understand that with lower spin, I'm going to have a little wider dispersion just based on the fact that if I leave the face open, there's not going to be as much spin to make it stop. So yeah. I'm willing to take that on. Um, I'm not bothered by 2383. Yeah. I just like. I guess I just, I think, I feel like that number is much, it's much more, it's much more different than I thought it would be yeah. compared to the Cowboy. Yeah. I guess is what I'm saying. Yeah. But, um, okay. So QI 10, I mean, it's still really good numbers. I mean, yeah, we got no, a good dispersion up good there. Well, um, it looks good. It feels good. Yeah. Sounds good. Everything's good. Just yeah. spun a little bit more. All right. G430 Max 10K. Okay. This is a much different driver than the other two, I think, uh, in yes. some ways. Yes, indeed. So I imagine that looks even more different than its large footprint. Grande. <laughs> Grande footprint. Yeah. I think, and it, again, from here, it looks like it's also Squat. flattened. Yeah. Okay. That more than it doesn't the really last look. Ones. I mean, just look, yeah, okay. I mean, if you're going to make a driver bigger and you're going to keep it look bigger and you're going to keep it at the, the at parameters that yeah. we're allowed to have, it's going to have to be yeah. squished yeah. a little, little tiny bit. Right. Um, but yeah. but it, it looks pretty good. I know it does, it's yeah. not glossy, so you don't have any fingerprints to worry about. Got that right. So. <laughs> Got that right. Yeah. No, it looks good to me. It's, uh, yeah. Yeah. It looks like a ping driver that's going to be really forgiving. Let's let's find out. Seventy-five feet in the air. That was a low. It was a low launch. Man, hit the screen pretty low. That one launched higher. Oh yeah. There's the draw again. That's the shot I really want to see. I like that. That one right there? Yep. So I know you like to start it out little, right. Little push draw. Yeah. Yep. And if it pushes and it stays there, fine. I just don't like to see the one going left. Speed's taking back up. I can tell. Yep. Trying to. So that's about as mo the most draw you like to see right there? Yes, absolutely. I mean, pass a little more from the inside than I'd probably really like to do. I'm trying to get this ball up in the air, too, which is weird. Mm, there it is. Hmm. Wow, that one, the spin went down on that one even. Yeah, that one felt, that one felt good. I, I was actually pleased with the feel on that. Also pretty pleased with the feel on that one. Ooh, didn't quite pick your spin up on that one. Uh. Missed it, but I missed it out toward the toe. Yeah? Yeah. So that's the result. Okay. All right. So I think I might See, I'm gonna take out this. I'm gonna take out this knuckleballer yep. for the one that misread this. Yeah, spin. the misread. Um, probably take out that one. one. Yep, first swing. And then we got one more here. I think you can probably leave it because it's, okay. it's it's all we can in, leave it. It's all very much in the frame. Yeah. So this dispersion pattern is starting to become a pretty consistent theme for for you here, yeah. Mr. Kevin. Um, looking quickly at the numbers, very efficient at 148. The highest launch so far of the three. Um, also the highest average peak height. Ball was getting up there a little bit. Um, your uh, spin was kind of a little bit 
it's kind of in between the two. So yeah. I know, actually, I feel like this one was better in the sense that um, we had the misread on the spin, misread, you know, sort of a guessing on the italics yeah. one, but yeah. only other one that went under 2000 was this one here. And you, it was basically off the toe, if I remember correctly. Yeah. So pretty good. I think it's yeah. consistently just over 2000 spin. Um, what else did you think about the 10K? So club head speed definitely came down. Yeah. And I wonder. <sighs> could be, a way wonder the, could be if, the weight of the head too. Yeah. I mean, I wonder if it's just the size. Could be. Right. I mean, a lot of these companies are working with, with, with drag, right? Mm -hmm. Cobra, which we're going to do next. They specifically have been working on trying to reduce the drag. So uh, if that one moves faster, then that could be that could be the yeah. deal, right? I didn't feel like I was really swinging any any less hard. Um, this felt really stable, though. Yeah. I mean, really stable. It's a uh, it's a good feeling driver. It's a good sounding driver. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I mean, yeah. all of your all of your your tee shots here were uh, fairway balls here. I think so. We've got that one short, and then we've got this one, which was a, you know, we took it out just because this italic, uh, italicized yeah. spin number, yeah. but all seven of those tee shots were in the fairway oh. on the relatively slim fairway. Can we do fairway, a new Adam so. Long comparison? I got a driver that I can hit in the fairway now. <laughs> right, right. Uh, yeah. yeah, so um, pretty good stuff, though. I think uh, I think we can say the 10K is, is one of the strong competitors this year. Yeah. Um, we also wanted to talk, I mean, that, that carry number is getting a little bit, higher as well as you hit the ball higher in the air so i mean if the, you look the total distance is pretty similar throughout yeah so i actually it's the second longest but i swung two miles an hour slower than yeah. i did with the qi 10. yep so you can work smarter not harder sure yeah maybe two miles an hour smarter yeah we'll call it that yeah uh last one the cobra. i know you, potentially your favorite cobra dark speed x you're now, after this is the fourth driver, last one we're going to mm -hmm. test today. Thoughts on the appearance of that one? I love it. Mm -hmm. It looks good. I love. I just love this murdered out look. Yeah. Um, really cool. You got the carbon fiber. You got the matte finish. Fingerprints. No fingerprints. Yep. <laughs> right. It's awesome. Um, still haven't figured out exactly what I'm going to go with in terms of shaft color, but I think I may just go with this guy because, you know. <laughs> taste of the rainbow right <laughs> sure yeah. yeah so yeah i All like right. it it looks good it looks good. curious what happens here with with the dark speed yeah Ooh, there's some speed out of the gate oh nice and some spin and some height nice nice see that one's going to turn over a little bit or maybe not. We'll see. Oh, there it is. Just a little bit. That's kind of my perfect shot right there. I like that a lot. It's about a, what, seven yard draw? Something like that, yeah. Ooh, you have eclipsed 160 ball speed. That's better. Over 300 see, yards. it is in here. It is in here. I don't show it in here very much, but it's in here. <laughs> Uh, this ball flight has been very consistent through what four swings now. Yeah, after the you know. Well, yeah. Extreme, ex, extenuating circumstances on that one. This one, let's see. This one took off a little bit lower. I feel like. Yeah, it did. It's still it's really good. Lower. Wow. Okay. How about that? How about that? I decided to go after one a little bit. That's, wow, you did. And you hit it zero feet of curve. Zero feet of curve. Okay. Okay. There's our dispersion with six golf balls. Wow. Okay. So, I don't even, do we want to remove anything? In theory, we could do this. Take out the 110 because it's it's an this, outlier compared to the rest. Balls. That's a good right? point. Yep. All Because every single one of the rest of them is 148 smash. So. We'll just do that. Um, okay, let's look at the numbers quick. Uh, things got better. Things got faster. Things got higher in the air with the dark speed. What was nine degree loft? Right? I have yeah. aside from the Callaway, which I did go lower initially, and then 
you know, the numbers were a little lower than I wanted, yeah. so I went back up. I would have tuned them all down had the numbers not sure seemed a little low. This one was just at nine, so no no shenanigans going on back yeah. here right, behind, right, right. behind the scenes. No, it was just very consistent. I mean, yeah. It, so you, this one you went after, right? But yep. after that, but before that, you had. Um, you know, 148 on every single swing. The launch was around 14 degrees, 13 to 14 degrees every single time. Spin around 2,000 every single time. And then your carry this is three times, you hit it 272 in the air. You hit one 274, one 270. Um, and then three out, of the four, uh, three out of the five here, excuse me, and then this last one actually that you went after, all went over 100 feet in the air as well. Which so I like. pretty good from the dark speed. Yeah. Very good. And it's Feels... not like it was. It was. It wasn't like it was the fastest club that you swung either. It no, was, it was exactly. actually third yeah. out of the four. Yeah, so, in, in average club speed. But ball speed wise was really good. Spin was almost ideal. Again, yeah. really consistent too. I mean, we're under two hundred on on, you know, yeah. variance on spin rate. So that's really good. Mm -hmm. This also felt really really stable. I, I, I'm, I'm a fan. Yeah, yeah. I think. I mean, there's. Again, this is one. This is one test here, and we're going to do this again later in the year for this category. But that dispersion kind of speaks for itself up there. It's smallest, and it's kind of the farthest up there. So one I think thing, I have an idea. One thing I'm learning: Cobra heads and Autoflex really seem to work it's a well. Good match. Together. Yeah. All right, Kevin. Testing complete there for the best of uh, 2024. I guess the high MOI or standard drivers uh, part one of the year. He had these four models. Um, interesting results in the testing. Yeah. Um, and so I guess let's just dive right into the testing and performance, so to speak. So okay. um, what we're gonna do is have you pick one of the four models that was sort of the best performance. Um, and this can be based on your testing today, and it can also be based on your fittings as well so far. But I know on the testing, I think I have a pretty clear runaway favorite. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it came off pretty fair, like yeah, club I mean, head speed wise. The club head speed, I mean, yeah, we've got and the numbers up there right now. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, uh, I don't know, the club speed was pretty, but pretty good across the board. The Cobra dark speed for you just launched a little bit higher, gave you a little yeah. more carry distance yeah. than the rest. Um, it's, it's tight in terms of performance because if you look at, if you look at ball speed compared to club head speed, the, they were all really good. Yeah. Uh, I swung the ping two miles an hour slower than the QI-10 mm -hmm. and a mile an hour slower than the dark speed. There's also a bit of, you know, if I tune up in loft, you know, what, what is, what's that going to change, yeah. right? We might see a little more spin, uh, might get a little bit more carry. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, from a, from a how these feel standpoint, I thought the two most stable were the, were the ping and the Cobra. Okay. Okay. Um, you know, overall performance in our test today. Got to be the Cobra. Dark Speed X was yep. was definitely the, the the best of that group. Um, I would say that if this was if I was doing an actual fitting on me, I would take the ping and I would go up another degree and see what that does to mm -hmm. the overall numbers. Um, <coughs> you know, because in in a fitting we're going for how can we make it absolutely the best, right? Yep. In this instance we're just taking four heads playing them as similar as possible and right. and seeing what yep. what did the best so um so for our our purposes today just looking at what we have on straight up data yeah not even not even my own personal opinion yeah cobra was the winner yeah cobra was the winner performance yeah. i think that's it'd be it'd be tough to <laughs> publish this video and say eh, something not kept cobra was a, a performance winner for this test yeah this video yeah. but um I know you've been, you've, we actually recorded the podcast this morning about it. And you, yeah. you mentioned how much the 10K has impressed you in fittings. So oh, absolutely. It's so, been incredible. Um, not surprised to see that it also performed well on this test too. Yeah. Um, I want innovation here. And this is kind of a weird um, category in the sense that it's kind of, at least in my mind, it's like, which of the drivers represents a technological advancement the most? Um, you know, what new technology might there be or... Um, the novelty of the of the driver and and what it's designed to do um which one is your favorite in that space yeah for in terms of of that's that's really a tough one in terms of 
of innovation. When you look at, at what's gone on inside these heads, uh, or in these faces, mm -hmm. right? Um, everybody's improved yeah. on on previous gen, uh, though this one's not even in, this one's not even going up against its previous gen. This is its own yeah its right own right thing. right. But you know the AI smoke is hard to it's hard to say that they haven't really maybe gone the furthest yeah. in terms of how they're changing their face. With the smart face design. Absolutely. Yeah. How they've added more weight adjustability to mm -hmm. it. Um, I think overall from a, you know, who's who's put the most into it, yep. I'm probably gonna give that one to Callaway. Yeah, I think I think that's just, and we, we had a, a session with them at the PJ show mm -hmm. and they talked about the supercomputer and, and, yeah. and all the simulations that they're yep. able to do and all the face iterations with how the smart face yeah. technology works. So uh, it's, it is crazy what they've done with it. And we've it seen is. it. I mean, you yeah. see, you hit off the heel toe, wherever yeah. the ball, the, the retention of the performance is, is really, really good with yeah. these drivers. So And, and Callaway is going to be, you know, Callaway is really right at the forefront of this whole AI technology. Everybody's, everybody's now kind of trying to catch up yep. a little bit. And we're going to see more of this out of every manufacturer yep. because oh, yeah. this is, this is the future of club manufacturing yeah. and how we're going to see improvements year over year mm -hmm. um every year i say oh, I mean, they're, they're so good now that that's the only do. way to even do it is right to, is to exactly get ai you know architecture and, uh, yeah. involved so yeah. um all right lastly we talked a lot about it during testing but just how these drivers look mm -hmm. and how they feel and sound which one of them is your favorite cobra yeah i figured yeah I mean, we talked about the the it's fingerprints and stuff but clean, i also just it's so clean right it's yep. clean there's nothing even the even the the little alignment you know c yep. there the is, logo is, there. is muted it just you put it down it's just yep. a nice clean driver head um I mm -hmm. do tend to like matte better than glossy I do love the the look of this yeah and I like the shape of this and uh, it's just the fingerprints, man. It's the <laughs> yeah. fingerprints. Yeah, I think TaylorMade and Cobra. Uh, I, I think if I were to maybe guess how the general public would vote on this category mm -hmm. of look, feel, sound, I think those two would be the favorites, just based on how clean they are, and then just depending on where you stand on glossy versus matte. So I'm just gonna kind of run through these all real quick. So the only thing I don't like about the AI smoke is the same thing that I didn't like about the previous oh, TaylorMade Made, drivers, which is, which is this line. Yeah. Yep. Now, I like this. I really like this kind of dark grayish yeah. uh, carbon fiber. I think that's a really good look. They push that all the way to the end. Whew, man, that's yep. going to be a heck of a look, good looking driver. And this one, you know what? So it's got the same kind of thing. It's got the wider band here. Yep. I don't, that doesn't bother me as much. Yeah. You got to be able to uh, incorporate the turbulators in there. If you don't like the turbulators, you don't like turbulators. It is what it is. There is a lot going on on this head, but there's a lot going on underneath the hood too. Yeah. And and this weight being all the way back here, this thing is so, so stable. stable. So, so stable. So stable. stable. It's gonna... I don't have any problem with the look of this, of this golf yeah. club at all. It does look a bit bigger. Yeah. The footprint's a little bit bigger, but. Um, yeah. And we mentioned it's know. a little bit different in its design to some, it is just a little bit farther back the weight yeah. versus maybe yeah. these other ones. So yep. for more forgiving, most likely this one compared to maybe uh, yeah. the others. But yeah. for this performance today in this test, Cobra Dark Speed was a pretty darn good winner. So yep. um, golfers, we hope that uh, we helped you with your driver decision this year in 2024. And if you're still not sure, or maybe you want to test them for yourself, schedule a fitting with someone like Kevin or any of our master fitters. We'll get you dialed in for a new driver this year. Longer, straighter tee shots is the goal, and we can help you do that. So and we can find uh, something you like looking at too. Exactly. Right? Gotta exactly. Have, gotta have it. Gotta have it all. So, Kevin, thank you for hitting all the shots today. Some really good testing up there. Thanks. And, yeah, uh, it was fun. Yeah, this was awesome. Yeah, it's good.